everybody's doing good today. Well, I have one for the Euronymph crowd. I'm using a Nymph Master 1050 BL number 12 jig hook, and I have a 3.8 millimeter tungsten bead and copper on it. As always, I'll have the the pattern materials in the description. So let's start on this. Put our thread on. Let's run this bone back here. I like I go just a little bit beyond the just into the almost over the bend of the hook there. Okay, we're going to use some yellow pheasant tail material for the tail. You're going to want oh a dozen or so, maybe a few more fiber um, barbs off of that. Put that in. right there now get that straightened out okay let's run this up to the bead I want it's a good way with this longer material with that slotted bead to hold it in place just get that bead up there in the position and then run this on up into the bead and that will help keep it in place for you Okay, let's trim off the excess there. Okay, now we're going to be using UTC copper wire on this. So get yourself a piece of that. And we're going to tie this in under the hook and run it back to the tail. Okay. Now for the body, same as the as the tail. We're going to use pheasant tail fibers. You don't want to use as many, probably five or six of those. Same thing, the yellow, the yellow pheasant tail. Tie them in tip first. Run your thread bound back up to the bead. Okay. Let's get our thread out of the way. Now we'll wrap this. Bring it all the way back up to the bead. Tie it in. I like to do the same thing with it so it fits in that slot. Okay, now let's trim off that excess. Now let's counter wrap our copper wire. Counter wrapping helps secure the, the pheasant tail better, it makes it a little stronger. Okay, now let's get that tied in. I'm going to helicopter that off to get it out of our way. <laughs> Funny thing is, it seems like when I'm trying to make a video and I'm trying to helicopter the material off, it doesn't want to helicopter off. <laughs> okay, we need to tie in a piece of flash. I'm using Mirage Opal. Put that right on top. Let's put on our dubbing.
I'm using hairline dub and ice dub and olive brown for the collar on this. Okay, now before we tie the the um, flash down, we're going to take some golden biots and tie them in. So you're tying these in, keep in mind that you're going to pull the flash in between them. So they have to be separated just enough that the flash doesn't distort them when you do that. And I run, want to run those back to just about the just about down to the tail. trim off those ends okay, now we'll pull the the flash over Just trim off the flash Okay, now let's put on just a little more thread there. Now take your whip finish tool, and whip finish ahead, the whip finish it off. Okay, now the next step we're going to take a little bit of UV resin and put over the top of that flash. Not only does that um, cause that flash to show up better but it also help you lock the thread in on the head of the fly. You don't need a lot. There. Now take your UV light and cure it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it, and if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. And stay tuned for more flies to come. Have a good day.